I'm with Jan McNeilan today, and Jan, we've been visiting your garden all summer, and you have this bountiful harvest right now. Well, we do, and it's it's just August. There's more to come, but I just decided this morning I would go out and pick everything I could find that looked good, and uh, and so this is what I came up with. This I just picked this morning, right before you guys came. Well, it just looks delicious. You know, you just want to go out and cook and just have people over and have a big party. But you know, we have a beautiful harvest and all kinds of beautiful vegetables, but sometimes there are some questions about things going on with vegetables, and you brought some things to mind. Well, this is not uncommon for the end of summer when we have high humidity, and yesterday the humidity was the same as the temperature here, which... It was warm. Um, yeah, and so this this is powdery mildew, and there really there isn't anything you can do about it. You can't spray your zucchini plants. Of course, maybe people want it to succumb to, to powdery <laughs> mildew to get rid of your zucchini, but um, there are a number of cucumbers and, and squash and uh, pumpkins. They'll all get uh, the powdery mildew, and it just, you can't do anything about it. You just keep harvesting the fruit and go from there. It doesn't affect it. You can still eat them. So well, Eventually, if it gets bad enough on every leaf, it starts to knock it down, then you will lose your plants, but there's really nothing you're going to do yeah, to stop it. It's late in the season, so it doesn't matter. Right, right. And here's some beet leaves. This is a, a charred leaf a and charred a beet leaf, leaf. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that this is a disease, and it's not. Uh, it's a uh, beet leaf miner that gets on charred spinach, beets, uh, etc. And it's a little fly that lays an egg on the surface of the leaf down in between the layers of the leaves and so that when that little egg hatches the larva mines underneath the layers and eats the tissue of the leaf in between. It looks blotchy like it's a disease but indeed it is a, uh, it's an insect. And so what do you do for that? Just pick them and put them in the Well, you can or? you can pick them off if you see them early on. Uh, you can do some protection when you if you rotate your crop, put it in a different place next hmm. year and put some row covers on, some reme uh, floating row cover over the top so the insect can't get to the ah, leaves. Oh, okay. And then then that's the best way to do it. Oh, ah, great. And now you have some other things, some tomatoes. What's yeah, with those? Lots, I got a question yesterday uh, on our a home garden and said, will my tomatoes ripen? Well, first of all, it's still only August. We usually get that, that question in September. Right. Uh, but y as long as the, the tomato is a translucent sort of mm -hmm. light green, I can wrap this really green tomato or just put it in a dark place for a while uh, and it'll start to turn. Oh, okay. and so it'll turn. Now, whether or not this darker one will, I don't know. We may have sacrificed that one, but if they haven't been on the plant long enough to right. start to turn that sort of translucent green, they won't. Uh, they won't turn. It's fried green tomato time. Right. Well, there's lots of that. lots of recipes for that. And now this little tiny guy. Now uh, this is a bell uh, pepper. Uh huh. It looks like a habanero, <laughs> but it isn't. Uh, that's as big as it's going to get, and it just isn't going to get any bigger. Our peppers are not that great this year, so. Uh, some years we have nice big lots of peppers on a plant and other years we don't. Right. And you have this lovely jam. And what was in this? This is a great recipe. It's so tasty. Well, not everybody likes figs, but <laughs> that's what's in there. It's uh -huh. strawberry fig jam. Oh, but it is so tasty. We it tasted tastes, it yeah. and it's just delicious. It's just like tasting strawberry jam, but all you do is chop up the figs if you've got usually people know somebody that has way too many figs <laughs> chop them up four cups of figs a cup and a half of sugar and a package of strawberry jello easy easy and the the uh, recipe is going to be on our website on gardentime.tv and it's a really enjoyable and so easy easy yeah, easy it recipe. is it's a good way and you can then we'll give directions on how to process it oh, i'm gonna great. That, that one won't last, so it'll just be in the refrigerator. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all the tips, and thank you so much for sharing your bounty with sure, us. Sure, sure.